All right. Um, this is a rating for Aquaria. Aquarius is of all shapes and sizes. All right. So it's a full moon rating. It's a wolf moon rating. Um, on the on January twenty fifth. At 12.54 p.m., that's that's lunchtime for most people, um, it, it's going to be in the constellation Leo. So this is going to have a, you know, a power that kind of makes you either self-reflect, have inner power, transformation, or protection of some kind. Depending on where you are in life or where, you're, where you are at the present <laughs> during that time. Um, it, it could be any and all of these, okay, depending on what your situation is, okay? All right, we have community. Okay, so foster community by helping others, sharing what you have, and welcoming all, even those who may be a little different. We have Chickadee and Finch. So Chickadee and Finch community. So your, your community could be helping you. Or it could be a community activity. All right. Okay. Your first question is, what is the greatest inner? What is your greatest inner strength? Okay. We have soothes and comforts. Getting back with your ex. You could be getting back with your ex, um, either current, present, or past. Um, so that could be a thing for you. Right, so how can you step into your own power? Um, we have strong desire, unacquainted love, or unconditional love. So it depends of who your ex is. Um, also, there, there could be more complications in that relationship than meets the eye. But hopefully it was like just based on good terms. Some relationships end for reasons unknown. But hopefully it was on good terms. Okay, so there's no, like, things of the past coming up. That's awkward. Um, so what traits can be more celebrated? A thirst for life and wasting time. So <laughs> you could be like, let's live fast, and then you're like, I need to sleep. You have work tomorrow or something. So it depends of what exactly you want to do and how you feel. Um, so... I feel like you do have some exciting moments in your life, but it could also take a lot of time to do a lot of these things, okay? So, I'm not knocking the idea, I just, you know, I have a mom that's an Aquarian. She wants to do something, it's crazy. Um, but anyway, let's say, you know, I, I, I know the feeling, but, um, yeah, just remember that, uh, to be safe also if you want to do something um, be safe um, as far as knowing what exactly you're doing and the safety and all that know enough where you it in case of emergency could help yourself all right that's all I'm gonna say okay so where can I take bigger risks we have secrets and asking for help um, I feel like you might be holding on to a lot of things, but I feel like you might need to let go of some of those things. I feel like some of the the things won't be really necessary or adamant to your um, lifestyle. Okay, <laughs> it's like just let it go, because it helps you more so to let go of things and forgive people, not forget, so that your energy can be more inspired. Okay, I said this to Aries, and I said this to a few other Zodiac signs. You have to forgive, not forget, but allow the energy to move past the turmoil that it's in right now in order for you to move forward and become successful. The, the person that did shit to you will never feel, you know, like they can escape criticism from other people because of what they did. But you can um, because you didn't do it in the first place, but holding on to secrets and blackmail and anything else you have on people, just let it go, it's not worth it, it takes too much time to, like, hold on and just BS, and you have to, like, curb, like, what you want to do with your life and shit like that, it's just ridiculous, you can just move on, you know, just, 
confront it, move on, you know, close that chapter. All right. Anyway, Aquarian, this was your reading. Hopefully this helped you out. Hopefully you enjoy your January 25th. Um, the, the full moons, lunar eclipses, uh, solar eclipses, and the twin moons in June and July are going to be fun. Um, it, it's a weird year, but it's going to be a good year. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in the next reading. All right. Bye.